Wow, I'm a little bit scared right now because uh, it might be that producer Jason is dancing a little jig to that song. Whatever jig is. What is a jig? I don't even know what one is. What's a jig? <laughs> that, okay. We need him to do that on camera because I think he would really enjoy it or something. Shoot the screen. I don't know. Now, if you're watching on your computer, you need to make sure that you can get us on your local cable provider. Go to U2America.com, enter your zip code, find out where you can find us locally. I'm Dr. Gina. Welcome back to America Trends. Now, Barack Obama trending today after he claimed that a very shady looking $400 million payment, you know, chump change, that came the same day the hostages were released, just so happened to be by the Iranian government. President says, just a coincidence, he says the U.S. does not pay ransom for hostages, but many out there on social media crying foul. And one of those who thinks the president is uh, not telling the truth is Barry Nussbaum. He joins me now. Barry, welcome back to America Trends. Good to have you. Good to be had by you. Our ever competent guest host when I am on the road. We always appreciate you, Barry, and your political analysis. Now, uh, so t tell us, is there a chance, just a chance, that this was totally a coincidence, that $400 million in all sorts of bizarre forms from euros to other foreign monies to just cash shows up in an unmarked plane, unmarked cargo plane on the same day as the hostages were released. I mean, Barry, what, what, what do you give the chances that that was just a coincidence? You know, G, if it looks like a duck and it sounds like a duck, it's quacking really loud. I'm thinking <laughs> duck. There are too many coincidences for Josh Ernest, the very, very competent spin doctor in the White House to explain. $400 million was flown in in an unmarked cargo plane on piled high with euros and Swiss franc on the day can't believe it's not front page news and yet yeah and uh, Barry you keep you keep cutting out on us there but uh, you, you're right it is it is it is shocking and appalling and the fact and, and I guess here's what kind of blows my mind Barry and that is that we've watched the coverage the relentless coverage of basically non-stories on Donald Trump. Um, you know, the, the, the RNC is imploding. Donald Trump is going to quit. Donald Trump is having an intervention meeting. Uh, Donald Trump is, uh, you know, the New York Times uh, article on Donald Trump being uh, a sexual harasser, which all proved uh, to be a lie. Uh, I mean, just story after non-story about Donald Trump. And yet, the media, I watched... Alphabet Soup News yesterday from about 7.30 in the morning until about noon. And they talked about Donald Trump with the exception of four min uh, sorry, 40 seconds they devoted to this story between 7.30 a.m. and noon yesterday when the news broke well in advance of that. Um, of course, Fox News and other conservative outlets were covering it wall to wall. But they seem much more interested in taking out Donald Trump, don't they? Well, it's all about the, the bias in the media, which you and I have talked about for, I don't know, 50 shows. The, the truth is, American hostages were released on the same day that pallets and pallets of $400 million were delivered. It's not a coincidence, Gina. It's a quid pro quo. It seems as though Barack Obama will do anything and everything to appease the Grand Ayatollah of Iran. And by the time he leaves office, I, I, I'm scared to death what's going to happen in the next six months, because everything Iran demands, we do. Yeah. And, and in response, we literally get nothing over and over and over again. And what's really, truly troubling to me, Dr. G, is the explanations make no sense. No sense at all. Uh, we owed them this money since the Shah fell. So we decided on the same day that four American hostages were released to give them this money, even though we have said all along we're not going to give them the money. What does that mean? It means there was a new deal struck. Yeah. It strikes me as so bizarre that nobody seems to care. There's a few Republicans that are outraged in the Congress, 
But the media, as you astutely point out, says nothing. It's, it's really sad. And so, I mean, we've got obviously a very cushy relationship between this Obama-Hillary administration and Iran. Uh, we have obviously a pretty cushy relationship between the Obama-Hillary administration and many jihadist nations. Uh, we have a cushy relationship between Barack Obama and Hillary Clinton and Russia, um, and not the least of which is the hundreds of thousands, millions of dollars that they've given to the Clinton Foundation, including jihadist nations, by the way. Um, and they call Donald Trump dangerous. <laughs> you know, when you're doing something really wrong, the best defense is a very, very aggressive offense. The outlandishness of this deal, uh, Dr. G, is the Obama administration announcing that it was a really great thing for the United States to do because we saved a lot of money because if they sued us and were successful in The Hague, then we would have paid a lot more. The reality is the government that this was owed to doesn't exist anymore. The, the obligation that sits underneath this payment is fallacious. This is nothing other than ransom for prisoners taken by a rogue nation. And Marco Rubio is right, and Donald Trump is right when they say it's going to encourage more and more and more of this. Why? If you pay a kidnapper, and the kidnapper stays in the kidnapping business, you're encouraging them to do more of it instead of demanding the release of Americans held unjustly in a military, in this case, Muslim dictatorship, who is sponsoring terrorists all over the world. We gave them $400 million and then bragged what a great deal that was. Yeah. Barry, don't you think if you were president and I were vice president, we're sitting around the Situation Room, we get hostages released one day, and we've planned a cargo flight of $400 million to go to Iran. Don't you think that we'd have the sense, we're almost out of time here, but yes or no, do you think we'd have the sense to say, hey, maybe we should do that next week instead? Well, you know, I'd, I'd, I'd at least make a couple days of time differential uh, so it didn't look so so. Obvious. Wrong, exactly. Way, we appreciate it, Barry. We're out of time. Up next, we talk to Dinesh D'Souza about his movie, Hillary's America. Don't miss it.